Oh my god. Is that a fish? Whoa. Got something decent here. No way. There he is. Good fish here. Oh my God. All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. Just got here to this uh, bait and tackle shop to uh, possibly grab maybe some live crabs or definitely live crabs. Maybe we'll grab some live shrimp and or pinfish. And I was supposed to get out with Aaron from A-Ben's Fishing today uh, for our second day, but he's feeling a little sick. So I think we're just gonna grab bait and then launch the kayak in a new area and see if we can find anything out and catch some fish. All right, let's hop in. Look how beautiful and clear this water is right now. And right now the tide is super low, but the good news is that we'll have the entire incoming tide until the sun sets. So basically the rest of the day and hopefully it brings in a bunch of fish that we can catch. All right, to start, just to cover some water in this new area, I think we should troll around this tube and maybe we'll find a big cuda to eat it or some Jack Creval or even maybe a grouper because a couple days ago I was fishing the seven mile bridge and I got a 22 inch uh, black grouper to eat this. Sadly, um, I'm having some issues with my fish finder. Uh, I have maps, but no sonar. So we're not gonna do a whole lot of fishing where I'm using the unit to mark fish and catch them. But at least with the map, I could see maybe if there's some deep holes around that I could hit. And I also have Navionics on my phone, so I could use that too. Oh, my fish finder's working. I'm not marking much, but like on the screen, but it's telling me the bottom, so that's good. Huh. It's a little of a weak si signal. Maybe if I turn the sensitivity up a little, it'll show a little more. Oh, the, the sensitivity is on zero percent. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's just the sensitivity is going up and down, like. The other day when it was stopped working, it was at like 100%, so then like everything was kind of just like all uh, distorted on the screen. Now that looks decent enough. Oh, sh**. I got his line. Sorry. All right, sadly, nothing on the troll. <laughs> I did snag another guy's line uh, accidentally because he had his line way out. Um, you know, up current, you, you know, generally most people fish with their lines going like down current. Um, and he had it way out and I just didn't see it, but he was cool and I apologized. So let's just put this down for a little bit. So maybe we'll try it again uh, later let's try this little shrimp lure on the bottom and uh, I want to see if there's maybe any mutton snapper here oh just had a good bite oh, another bite I missed him small stuff I think oh that's something better what could it be? Oh yeah, it's a mutton. Yeah. Oh, and check this out. He's got a line coming out of his mouth or out of his gullet. Like that's some pretty thick 
leader that looks to be like 60 pound. All right, let's measure this guy quick. And if he's 18, I'm probably not gonna help him out. But if he's a little short, I will. And he's just about 15 inches. So let's cut this line off of him here. He actually has got two lines. Look at that, one is lighter than the other. This is like 30 and then this other one is like 60. So I'll cut it back as best I can. This guy is a survivor. He deserves to live, even if he was a keeper. Now this uh, little shrimp lure that I'm using, this is actually a voodoo shrimp, but typically it comes rigged on this type of jig head right there, but I rigged it up on a, a round ball head jig head so I could more effectively fish it in deeper water. And I believe this is slightly heavier. This is like 3 8 ounce. All right, before we get back up by the bridge, let's just try dropping down way out here because it seems like this is just kind of like a sandy uh, channel right here, but mutton sometimes love to hang out on the sand. And it'd be cool, it would be cool if we could get on them like further away from that hard structure because I, I guarantee you there's gonna be more like top predators there like big kudos and sharks closer to the bridge. So if we by chance get a keeper mutton, uh, you know, if it's a longer fight, the, the, the bigger predators might beat me to them. I had a nice grouper on yesterday with uh, Aaron and uh, I, I had him out of the structure and it, like he was so close to getting to the boat and the shark just came in and, and got him. I, and I never saw the shark either, but I just felt the thump and then it just started t dumping line and it cut me off right away. So I'm, I'm hoping to avoid as many sharks as possible today. I wish I could knock on some wood, but I'll knock on this cork here. Maybe that'll uh, keep the sharks away. I, I paid the tax man yesterday and I gotta pay him on April 15th coming up or well before April 15th, I, I wanna get it out of the way as soon as possible. But I just fish so much, it's, you know, it's hard to sit down and, and uh, get that kind of stuff done. Most of the fish here are probably like this big, trying to eat this. We gotta find the, the few 18 plus inchers. Oh, fish on. Something small. Oh, no way, look at that. I caught a spade fish on the shrimp lure. Pretty cool. I wonder if this guy actually tried to eat it or I may have just accidentally brought it around him and snagged him. Supposedly these guys like to eat like jellyfish. I'm sure they eat shrimp though. Everything eats shrimp, especially in Florida. Oh, another one. Mini mutton. All right, I'm kind of figuring them out a little bit. Oh, another fish. Mini, oh, a little lane snapper actually. Whoa. That's a good fish, or better fish. Hey, a little uh, black grouper, I think. Yeah, a little black grouper. This guy hit hard though. I thought he was gonna be a larger mutton. fish whoa got something decent here no way a flounder a Florida Keys flounder oh, that's so cool 
I did not expect that. Let's check the regulations on the flounder here. Season's open. Bag limit is five at minimum size 14 inches. This guy's gotta be close to 14. He might be 15 or 16. I love this net because it has the measuring tape on it. Oh yeah, he's a little over 16. Whew, we got dinner. That is a beautiful and tasty flounder right there. I love fishing the Florida Keys and especially out here in the kayak because you never know what you're gonna pull up and catching smaller size fish like this can be super fun and also of course the giant ones. All right, let's throw that keeper flounder in my little angle cooler. Should be a perfect fit. Look at that. Now let's get back to the fishing. So unfortunately, the next few hours were extremely futile. I fished crab after crab and casted at every inch of this bridge and around this area. And although I only caught some small fish for the rest of the day, just by spending hours and hours out there, I did learn a lot and I saw the potential for this spot to be really great. So at around sunset, I packed it in and I decided to come back to this very same area the next day, but just fish it in a slightly different way. All right, well, it's bright and early the next day and we are actually heading back to the same spot that I fished yesterday because I, I feel like there's still so much potential there and I really wanna break down that spot. And I'm also meeting up with my buddy Dylan, who's never fished there either but he's gonna launch his kayak and sometimes two guys fishing with two, three, four lines in the water is better than one guy with only one or two lines in the water because uh, if he catches something nice, then we can kind of pick apart that and maybe dial in on uh, you know something great. So I'm meeting up with him in a minute and I just actually had to stop off where uh, my buddy Aaron is staying at because uh, I left my cast net on his boat and like most of my tackle. Uh, so I kind of was fishing yesterday with minimal stuff. So I had to get my, my big tackle bag with uh, some larger swim baits in there. I had to get my hook box. <laughs> so now I have larger hooks for say fishing uh, with uh, pinfish or um, mullet. And yesterday evening when I was loading the kayak back up, I uh, heard quite a few mullet uh, flicking on the surface uh, right where I launched the kayak. So I'm hoping maybe the mullets will be there in a good school that I could get with the net. And then we'll have some fire bait for tarpon, big cuda, big jacks. And uh, I still have three crabs left. So maybe a permit will grace me with its presence today. <laughs> Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Let's go catch them either way. Yo, yo, let's catch them. How's it going? Pretty good. It'd be even better if we can get on some good fish. Let's go. All right, I think we're gonna go straight to the bridge and I'm gonna try tossing out this uh, mullet patterned mag darter and just troll it on the way there. Maybe we'll pick up a big kudo with it. No bites on the troll, but it doesn't help. We got a little grass on there. Oh, 
lot of incoming current this morning. So let's try something heavier to get it down in the water column. No bites on the swim bait on the bridge right here. I'm gonna take that as a sign is maybe we should soak a crab. No bites on the crab. Let's try dropping the shrimp jig real quick. Oh, fish on. A small little grunt. Let's try a sabiki rig. Oh, we lost our tail too. We got something. A very small little grunt. Jeez, I got something like decent size that size that hit the sabiki and it broke it off right there. Unless I caught a bait and then something ate the bait. Fish on. Oh, look at that. A juvie Goliath. Oh, God. I almost broke my rods there. Nice, chunky fella. I wonder if he has part of my sabiki rig in his belly. I bet uh, I was getting little baits on there and then he was coming up and probably sniping them. Let's try tying on this little Nomad Squid Treks vibe. It looks so good. I'm thinking muttons might really like it. I'm sure the grunts will love it, so maybe we could catch more bait with it. But let's see what happens. Let's try one quick drift with this. Oh, that feels like a bait. Oh my God! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That got the heart racing. The wifey's not going to like to see that one. There he is. Good fish here. Oh, 
Oh my god. It is ripping right now. Ripping away from the structure, which is good. here it's something pretty good hopefully the sharks don't get it Jeez. This fish went down current, away from the structure, now he's going back towards it. This is a big fish, whatever it is. He's not going in the structure, so it's probably not a grouper. Oh my god! No freaking way! It's a big tarpon? On the squid tracks! Are you kidding me? There's no way I'm gonna be able to land this fish. I only have 25 pound leader. This is gonna be a miracle if I land this fish. I put the rod down just so I could kinda go where he goes with the paddles. I need him to get away from the bridge. That's what I need right now. Coming through, I got a big tarpon on. Right underneath you. I hooked the big tarpon right below you. Sorry, I got a big tarpon on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I hooked them on the light rod. I don't think I'm going to get them, but who knows? Gotta try and get him away from the bridge. I'm, gonna, I'm slowly trying to pull him back with the current. And then there's some flats over there maybe I could land him on. Ah, oh, 
I just broke off there. There is nothing really else. There's nothing else I could really do there. He frayed through it eventually. I've got one more squid tracks here. I'll try putting it down uh, on 50 pound fluoro and see what eats it. Crazy that that tarpon ate this thing. No way. Another fish on. Oh my God, another tarpon. Just, oh my God, look at that. Woo, they love, they love the squid tracks. That was like instant. No. It broke off the two little hooks on the back. No. Yeah, it broke the hook. Let's, let's see if I could rig something up that we could get these tarpon. All right, it took me some time guys, but this is what I rigged up with a stronger split ring and a much stronger single hook. I think that'll work. Let's get them. If you look down, you can see the tarpon. They're, they're here. Oh, just lost one. Just lost one. Hopefully this hook I put on here isn't too uh, thick and fat to penetrate their mouth. Well, I did a dumbo. I should have just tied up that last squid trex that I had until the outgoing current because right now it's slack high. So the tarpon kind of quit biting anyway, but I took like one more cast and I got snagged in the piling and I snagged something weird because it was only like three, four feet down and I could see my leader, but I just couldn't get it out. So I popped it off and yeah, we're going to try now to uh, get some mullet up in this like flat area here. Dylan said that he saw some over here. So if I can get like four or five mullet or a dozen for myself and Dylan, maybe we'll be able to get some more tarpon to eat that. And then probably after that, I'm gonna start wrapping things up uh, because I've got like a three and a half hour drive to get home, so. Oh. I just took a poke and hope cast. Oh, I think I got some. Oh yeah, I got some. try the smallest mullet that I caught first. I'm also going to go find Dylan and see if he wants some of this bait. Do you, uh, do you want snapper bait? Do you want snapper bait? I have a big mullet that could be cut up for snapper bait. What's up? All right, I got a knife too if you want to cut it up.
All right, I could not get anything to eat the mullet, but I'll keep the three live ones alive for the meantime. And maybe at the end of the outgoing tide, the tarpon will decide to chew again. And now I think we should turn this larger mullet into cut bait for uh, mutton snapper. getting a ton of little bites. Oh, I just got a much harder hit. I'm gonna let him eat it, because it's a big bait. There he is. That could be a keeper mutton. Not a keeper, but you know, maybe a little bigger than the one we got yesterday when we started. Actually, slightly smaller, just shy of 15. Oh, we just got eight by something decent. Oh, he dropped it. Oh no, he still got it. There he is. Another decent mutton. Yeah, boy. See ya. All right, let's see if we can get mutton number three. I just called Dylan over here to get some of this uh, mullet for bait, unless he's crushing it. Yo, you want some uh, chunk bait for mutton? I kind of figured out these tarpon a little bit. I just jumped one. Oh, you just jumped a tarpon, nice. Really? On the jerk shad. Nice, on the jerk shad. So, that's pretty cool. Do you have any 40 pound coro? Uh, yeah, I got, um, no, I, I have 50. Yeah, 50, 30, 60, 25. What were you using? I broke off on 25, then I just snapped off. I think I had a nick in my braid on 50. 50 well, the braid. 50, oh, oh, oh. oh no. good bite, good bite. Oh, I lost them. Um, you any good over here? Wait, so you didn't get any bites with 50 liter? I broke off on something, it might have been a snag. Yeah. Well, I got fluoro if you want to try that. I would just go with 50 because some of these tarpon are really big. Yeah, the one I have is, I mean, probably five, five and a half foot. I'll slide over to you. Alright, I'll put the leader in the net. <laughs> you can grab it out of the net. Catch them up. Here's a piece if you want to try for mutton or something, or here, or here. It's a mullet. That's Wait. A fat mullet huh? Oh, look at that! I threw it right into your hand. <laughs> Hopefully, you see me jump some carpet over here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna join you in a minute. Huh. For some reason, the mutton bite died off. Let's go see if we can get another tarpon to eat. And then I think that's going to be it for today. Oh, 
there he is. Oh my God. Jeez. Something like that will give you nightmares. That was a giant tarpon that just came up and it just threw it right there. The line got caught under the bow, so I, I didn't really have much, you know, there wasn't much I really could do. just found out he's hooked oh yeah there we go uh, I gotta try and keep him out of the bridge oh my god oh. Shoot. Oh, I thought he was. <sighs> All right, so now the goal is I'm going to try and pull the tarpon into shallow water because there's definitely some sharks cruising around out here in the channel. And I really don't want to grab them out here. fish of course has to let me take her over there <laughs> I'm trolling a tarpon <laughs> hopefully nothing hits it come on come on come on I gotta get shallow I gotta get shallow this is a good fun size one There we go. Wow, now she's really pulling. After she just basically like swam right along the kayak all the way here. She doesn't like the shallows. Key, hold the key, hold the yak. Thanks. She's a little bigger than I thought she was, actually. Yeah. Like, this is a fish that I probably, you know, could not take out of the water. Therefore, if I brought her up alongside the kayak out there, there's a good chance a shark would have helped take her out of my hands for me. And for those of you that don't know, tarpon over 40 inches, you're not supposed to take them out of the water. Oh, 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 he's still got some fight left in him. I'm gonna bare hand land him because I forgot the gloves. Nice. Oh, All right, guys. What a beautiful fish. That hook just popped right out. Got him on the three inch Z-Man with my homemade jig heads. There she goes. Healthy release. Go. Woo! Great job. <laughs> Thanks so much, bro. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna sit Before you hand me that back, yeah. do you want this one? Yeah, I mean, I'll take it, sure. All right. I'll give you a couple others, too. There you go. Thank you, my friend. Now you, now you don't have to go to Bass Pro and, and spend money. I still might come just for the, for the vibes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Time to go to Bass Pro, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we're hiking through the flats, back to the launch with our kayaks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dylan. Check out his channel. He, he's gonna have some cool content from uh, the next, this uh, coming week filming down here. And uh, he really helped out with 
getting some cool photos and uh, some videos from that, that last fish. And I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live. There we are. There's a fish. That's a tarpon, I think. We're on, we're on, baby. We're on. That's a big fish, bro. That's a big freaking fish. Come on, come on. Uh, big fish right there. Oh, man. I put my gear to the test. Sure feels like a tarpon. Big bite, big bite, big bite. What do we got here? Oh, 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 oh. That ain't a tarpon. That's a giant perm.